I'll wait for you to start yours and I'll just describe what we're doing. Let me know when to start. Fun talk with Riley, yeah. Fuck, I'm gonna go with 720p soon, dude. Hold on. I don't think our league starts again until the 2020 game, by the way. You think so? I'm pretty sure. I don't know. Right, and if so, that kind of sucks. All right, are you started, and I'll explain what we're doing. Yeah. All right, guys. So we're currently going to drive all our tracks. I won't, as of right now, be in the 2020 season. So. Oh, I've received an invitation to Aiden's broadcast. <laughs> we're also going to talk about what we think will happen in 2020, predictions, all that, and then just more about F1. Who has yeah. the worst car liveries and stuff? You know. Yeah, some of the car liveries. No, let's start with that. Who do you think has the top three liveries this year? The top three. Yeah, and then we're talking about the worst. I feel I want to I want to talk about the worst first. Yeah, let's go worst first. All right, who do you think has the worst? Haas. All right, yeah, I, I think anyone agrees Haas has the worst livery this year. Um, I don't know what my race strategy is. Cause I should start. Um, I just I'm going from soft to medium. I think that's gonna be my that's probably my info. I, I think it's Haas just because it's a really it's just the same livery recolored and it's a, not even a good color scheme. I just don't look behind you. Why? Oh. Safety car deployed. The safety car well, is being deployed. Good. Hamilton should be off track on the first turn, so fuck him. But Haas made such a shit livery. So I don't think we really need to talk about it too much. I'm sure anyone's seen Haas's livery, you know. So. What's your top three team liveries for this year? Honestly, I'm gonna go McLaren number one. I, I McLaren has to be my second. I'm gonna I, my top three are probably gonna be McLaren, um, AlphaTauri just because of how sleek the AlphaTauri. Oh looks. yeah, that's my number one. AlphaTauri is my one. Uh, I think it looks super nice. Yeah, and my then, uh, my uh, number uh, three personally is Renault this year. Renault, I know it's yeah, pretty much nice. the same. But I think it's just, it's a good livery. I really I keep, like, uh, I keep what I said about, too, even though it kind of looks the same. There's no adjustments, kind of like what Ferrari did. Yeah. See, I don't mind those. Like, Ferrari and Red Bulls, their liveries looked great last year. I don't think they really yeah. need to change much. Red Bull has perfected the livery. I feel like Red Bull, like, 10 years from now, how you kind of have the liveries from the cars from, like, 10 years ago, where it's kind of like, well, probably more than 10 years ago now, sorry, since it's 2020. Since it looks like, you go go back and you think about, like, the Braun GP livery, for me, that's one that I really like, because it's kind of so simplistic, and you have hints of green on the side and stuff. For me, that's a car that I'm always going to remember. The 2009 Braun GP car. You know which one I'm talking about? Yeah, I know. I, I think Ferraris isn't perfected yet. I do think it's an amazing livery, don't get me wrong, especially for the Ferrari car. Yeah. But I don't think they need to change too much this year. I really don't th I couldn't sit here and say what they could have done better for a livery. The I nice like slick how, red. Yeah, I like how they did all that. And I like how they replaced what the uh, white that they used to have. Like, they used to have the Italian flag I remember. Kind of thing on there. Yeah, they used to have that. I'm glad they got rid of that because that didn't really match with the whole. They've added memory. some more to the Italian flag this year too on the sides and on the front a bit, so I like that. They've kind of they've changed a few things, but it wasn't enough to make it big, but it still looked yeah. good. So I think their 2018 livery was ugly. I hated the white, but yeah. Uh, Mercedes. Let's talk cool. about their livery. Just adding red. I'm. I'm. I'm it's an uh, interesting choice. I but respect I do it. Like it. It doesn't do look bad, like but I was really hoping for a newer Mercedes livery this year. Yeah. So I'm, can't I'm wait for be ready for like. I would rather Mercedes go with like kind of an all black and red. One yeah, I I really like that. Um, instead of having like a silver, black, and red one. Well, let's talk about McLaren. We both like it very much. Yeah, I like I really that they like went. How they? I think it's a beautiful just went full in. Yeah. I like their suits to look a bit different. I don't think they look the best, but I think they look better this year than they did last year. Yeah, 
I'm but, definitely a fan of how they finally incorporated the orange ones of the Halo. Mm-hmm. I really think that's great, and it looks beautiful. So there's not much to say. Uh, Reno, it's pretty much similar, but... Yeah, I really liked the all-black one. That yeah, I really enjoyed it. Of how I get it's why it, it they don't keep it, because sponsors... But yeah. I, I still like their yellow, you know? The yellow really sticks out on the grid, which I think is yeah. really good, because... You don't want all the cars looking the same and get boring. Your sponsors won't be happy. So I'm, I really dig it. Now let's head uh, down to Alfa Romeo. We're gonna go over them real quick. I, I, I really, like that they added more red on the front. Yeah. I really think it looks sick. I love their car last year. You've seen my screenshots on my PlayStation of me driving. Yeah, for it. <laughs> it's like all your fucking screenshots are. are Alfa Romeo, driving. Ferrari, yeah. some Red Bull. Um. I really All like it. Have Red Bull is because of me. One, I drive it here and there. I like the car. I'm getting back into the car. I'm not gonna lie. I'm getting back into the car. It's. I like the Red Bull just because it has nice handling and good brakes. And you know how I like to overtake on corners. Yeah, you know how I am. Horsepower. <laughs> Yeah, that's all you uh, you all you defend on right there. Hey, I'm not too bad on turns in the Ferrari, and I think I have a decent defense. You do, you do. My, you I know, think I, I think I do better on offense though. I do really good. You Mainly because I'm patient. Against me because, Mainly because I'm patient. Uh, yeah. If I wasn't patient, the Ferrari would go to shit. Um. Mm. <laughs> But back to the deliveries. It would be like Josiah driving. <laughs> uh, Alpha Tori. Well, All right, I I, fucking, I love it. They they did such a good job with it. I know. A I lot wasn't of expecting about much I about like the it. white and black logo. I'm like, uh, I don't know how that's gonna look on a car. And then they they were one of the first to reveal it. I'm like, holy fuck, I'm hard. This is beautiful. <laughs> it's so I'm slick. It's so smooth. I didn't. I did not like it at first, but then I took it a second look at it once they released it on the F1 app, and I kind of just looked at it at my phone, and I was like, I'm going to give it a second second chance real quick. And I looked at it, and then I kind of got the better pictures of it and stuff, because the launch live stream, I feel like, didn't do it justice. So I felt like I, I was, just had to sit there like 12 hours of a fashion show. I was sitting there, I was looking, and I'm like, okay different i'm sitting here looking for more i'm like i can dig this i could see and you know kind of picturing it up there in the midfield next to the mclaren colors the alfa romeo you know those colors i'm like this thing is gonna stick out and it's gonna look really pretty on track yeah i mean when they was at testing i thought it was fucking beautiful i love their suits too can we talk about um williams real quick can we talk about the cold gate car oh i i i personally like it yeah, um, I didn't like that first. I I thought no, it looked fucking hard. Makes my that makes my teeth feel good. <laughs> Don't worry, guys. George Russell will uh, have bright white teeth all season. Um, I, I love that they're sponsored by a brewery. Personally, find it funny. Let's go over the. Uh, we're we'll go over cars after this, but we're we're just going over deliveries right now. We're go over like just car design in general and what we think their performance will be in season after. But um. Racing point, which will be I, they, changing soon. They really, yeah, they really. This for this last season, they really decided to go all in with the pink. They brought back for the um, remember the 2018 car when they were still forcing mm -hmm. yeah, the last season of that. They were pink, but they weren't quite pink, and they still had some white on there. 2019, they brought more white in, but this season I, I feel like they're fully bringing in the pink for the. I'm last not gonna sit here and say I'm a big fan of the pink, but I'm I don't mind it. It does look nice. It make it looks nice. It makes um, it stick out. Yeah, I'm not a big fan of the pink personally, but I'm not gonna sit here and hate on it. It does look. It is a beautiful car, even though it's pretty much just a Mercedes. Um, but we'll go over <laughs> that later. So cars, we're starting at the top of the grid for 2019. And go down. Um, Mercedes, their new car. It I think looks very I similar, think, very similar yeah. to their old one, but you don't really need to change much on a championship winning car. Yeah. So uh, I I'm, definitely the think yeah, yeah. their the system. fucking suspension is bullshit. 
the DOS system, there's going to be some interesting things with what's going on with that. I, I, I don't think any team's going to take the time to reproduce it because it takes months and a whole new chassis to do. So, I think it would be just too expensive and not worth it, but... I feel like the it only is reason interesting. they did it was because they had the money. Oh yeah, they had the money and they already had it designed in 2019, I'm sure. And they're like, fuck it, we can do this. Worst that happens, we have to remove it or disable it. I don't know if if it does... I feel like if Mercedes ends up doing really good this season, and the whole reason they do good is because of the DAS system, the DOS system, I feel like... I feel like if it's making a big game changer, it's going to get banned mid-season. Especially if all the teams come together and say it. It has to be. If I can't yeah, say I shit, if... I don't know if it's going to get banned but... mid-season. Well, it's already banned for 2021. Yeah, I know. It's banned for 2021, but I don't know if it's going to get banned for mid-season. Because that would require them having to change their uh, chassis. Or disable it. They can disable it. They have said they are able, if it was decided that they had to, they could just disable it on the car. Which, I mean, the FIA would have to watch and make sure, but... Let's go... So, what, what do you think about their preseason testing? I think I they... I feel like they kind of... I felt like it was a, kind of a letdown, I'm not gonna lie. For Mercedes, I, like they, I think I Bot like has stuck out. The car on the I, think I think Bot he, has yeah, stuck has, out. Bot has there. stuck out, but I feel like they're bagging their car. I feel like they're not showing everything off about their car. So I, I think they're going to go into the season strong. Of course, it's Mercedes. They have Hamilton and Bottas in their lineup. They're going to go in strong. But Can we talk about one thing real quick in preseason huh. testing? Robert Kvitz is setting fastest lap with Alfa Romeo. Yeah, that was great. Um, I think yeah. that really just shows how well he does and everything. But um, I, I think Mercedes are going to start strong, but I definitely think they're going to have competition all year this year. Well, like last year. They started like off top dog year. in beginning of 2019, and I don't think they had too much competition, especially with Leclerc finding his legs in the Ferrari and Red Bull not being there quite yet. But I think they're going to be challenged all season. I think they might not win constructors. I do think Hamilton's going to get his seventh world championship where Bottas could stop him. Which will bring me to another contender later, actually, too. I think there's two other people that could possibly challenge him if their cars don't let them down. Who do you think, Max and Leclerc? Mm-hmm. I think they're going to be the best op. The only two drivers up there, and Bot has himself to challenge Hamilton this year. How do you think Albon's going to do this year? I See, we're we're talking more about this when we get down to Red Bull. <laughs> Um, now let's talk about Bottas while we're on to top and finish the topic of Mercedes. Oh. Okay, then. We're just gonna ignore that. But, what do you think about Bottas going into this season? Bottas, I feel like he's gonna... I feel like he's definitely gonna do more than he did last season. I think he's gonna be pushing Hamilton. Yeah. I definitely think he will be pushing him this year. A lot more he did this year, because I don't think he really pushed him. I wasn't speeding under the virtual safety! Fuck you! I have a drive through penalty, apparently. Penalty. You Damn, you got a drive through for speeding under... I wasn't even speeding. Speed. Oh, fucking stupid, but... Now let's head down to Ferrari. What do you think about them going into the season? I feel like Vettel is definitely going to... Be trying to step up his game. Leclerc, I, I, I hope, I hope Leclerc continues with what he had last season. I feel like he definitely will. I think they they that. weren't pushing the car. I think they were saying bagging the car in preseason. I don't think they were definitely. letting it out. They were like most top teams were. It's Ferrari. We know they have fucking horsepower. Yeah. And that wasn't being shown. Vettel wasn't looking too hot in preseason, and we, we didn't see a lot of Leclerc. So, yeah. Vettel was on track more often. So, I think Vettel's going to be fighting for a contract next year, honestly. Um, I personally no, he think is, he's going he's, to. I think he's the third... He's, is, he is the third most... I think something he's like the third most winning Ferrari driver ever. Next yeah, to but at, and Michael Schumacher. I don't know. I think he could be driving for a contract this year. 
just because going into the new generation of cars, I think Ferrari's going to want to go with what looks like a more promising lineup if you have sound. Which think... Leclerc did say uh, he he loves Vettel as a teammate and he'd be happy for him to stay, but he would fully understand if Ferrari decided to go with someone else. If you think Ferrari would go for anyone else that's Besides on the current Sebastian grid. Vettel, who do you, that was, that's on the current grid. Who do you think they would from be? 2019? I don't think anyone that's gonna be out of contract that will switch teams. Other than I think maybe Bottas. I I'm yeah, gonna go out on them. Mercedes maybe Bottas. I definitely I would think like, Bottas I would and like Leclerc to see could Bottas go. In the Ferrari. I'm not gonna lie. I would like to see Bottas in the Ferrari next to Leclerc. In my or, career, he was. He does look good in a red jumpsuit. <laughs> or they could bring up Kimi Raikkonen again. That'd be an interesting. I thing think Raikkonen has the skill. He he doesn't. He's not gonna sit here and care to push too much into Alfa Romeo. He he's here because he likes it. But I definitely think if they need a driver, Raikkonen would step right up there, and he'll yeah. do just as good as he used to. Um, onto Leclerc. What do you think? I think he's just going to improve in 2020. I think he's either going, he's either going to improve or he's gonna fall massively from grades. I I don't, cause he showed skill, and the past two years he's shown and shown he's a good driver. He's really looking up to be the possible new Lewis Hamilton when Lewis retires. I don't know Kinda. about possible new Lewis Hamilton. Well, he's gonna be a big driver. He's definitely he's going gonna be, to be a, a huge big driver, driver, but I don't know if he's gonna be the new Lewis Hamilton. You're right, he's white, he can't be, but um I I definitely think he's not gonna it's... fall too hard. Oh fuck me, Williams I got DNF'd by George Russell. Safety car, safety car. No, Guess who hit me? Robert Kabitza. Oh, okay, you had to guess if you're gonna go into the pit lane. But um I definitely think it would be fun to see Bottas and the Ferrari. Oh, that'd be great. I'd love it. Um, on to where do you think they're gonna land this season? Just with where do you think Vettel would go if he's out of contract with Ferrari? I have no clue. I'll have it, to look at who else is gonna be out of contract and if Vettel almost gets out of everyone, but Ocon. I think, I think I said it wrong. Ocon. And Ocon so Racing Point will keep theirs and. Russell will stay at Williams. Those are the only confirmed that are for lower teams. I I feel like a lot of people would be after Sebastian Vettel if I, he was out of contract. I definitely think so. I feel like he still has a lot of solid years ahead of him. I could see if Ricardo decides not to re-sign, which I think he will, personally, but say he doesn't, or a better team contacts him. I think he we could see Vettel possibly going to Renault if they have a year like they did last year, where it was just on a uphill slope. I feel like Renault could possibly have a pretty good year this year. Yeah, we're talking more about Renault soon, but that's just one of the places I could see Vettel going possibly if he leaves Ferrari. Yeah. So on to uh, Red Bull. Their preseason testing looked promising. They, uh, reliability they wasn't the best, fast. but neither was Mercedes. Um, they had, I think Mercedes had a pretty bad reliability. This in I season, think, but I'm not gonna lie. I feel like top, all, all top three teams were sandbag. I think so, but Red Bull definitely looked on top of their game, especially both yeah. drivers. Um, as I said before, Ma I think Max can contend for a drivers' championship this year, and I think he has the car to back yep. him. Max normally does contend for drivers championship. I, I like, think he's he actually come, gonna be able to push did he, him. Did he come Hamilton. in third or fourth last year? He came in third. He overtook uh, Leclerc on the last race. That's what I thought. But I think he's gonna be pushing Hamilton to where he Hamilton has to actually try his best in the championship to defend off those three. Yeah. Because I feel like Hamilton didn't have pressure. It was just pressure from. Bot has at the end, and Hamilton knew Mercedes weren't gonna let him. So, um, onto the car straight. I think it's definitely gonna go strong. Yeah. How about Albon? I think we could see the first race win for Albon this year. 
Albon got robbed of his podium at Brazil. He did, but I think we could see him. Race win. I don't know about race win, but I definitely I definitely see a um, podium. I'm going to go bold and say a win. I'm... <laughs> I'm expecting to see, I think we're going to see Albon cross the finish line with P1 this year. You think he'll get pole um, this year? I, I think he's capable of it, but if he will, I'm not sure. Because the Red Bulls, it's harder, in my opinion, for them to set pole because they're not the fastest just lap time on the grid. They, Because I don't think they have the fastest engine. They don't so I have think the they really have to rely Max. on... Max got pole at 100. Yeah, that's true. I think it has to rely on the driver. I think Albon could, though, possibly, depending on the race. It's really right. depending on the track. Which track do you think Albon has the best chance of winning at? Winning? I'd have to say Brazil. He looked in full control at Brazil. He looked ready. Yeah. He knew it. I think he could. I think he could have... I think he's probably, I think he's capable of getting podium at almost every track. Because he's a pretty good driver. But I feel like things for engine wise are gonna slow him Yeah, down. it's definitely auto Honda has proven so far they're reliable. The car has been reliable. You have to give them that. And they've been working where Red Bull can help develop it. It's I think it's a really good partnership and it's going well. Yeah. Um, let's head down to McLaren. I think it's on the up and up. They McLaren, finished 2019 strong as hell. McLaren went from ninth to fourth. That is a pretty good. That's a pretty. Good they have an amazing opinion. driver lineup. I definitely think they. Yeah. It was the right choice for was it Alonso to leave, and let two these two step in. I think Fernando Alonso retired. I don't and think then, he would have stuck uh, so well with the team this year. I don't think he would have know. held with Fernando or Carlos uh, as a team. Yeah. They Fernando bounce pretty Alonso. well off each other. They work well. The car they were given without either of them having a say in it was they did great. Yeah, I feel for I think it was Fernando for the 2018 driver lineup. I think it was Fernando Alonso and Stoffel Van Dorn. And I, they didn't renew Van Dorn's so. contract in the uh, Alonso. Yeah, retired. they had a whole new one this year. Um, and um, since Daniel Ricciardo ended up signing with Renault, uh, Carlos Sainz went and signed with McLaren. Yeah, I and think it was great. And Lando from uh, F2. F2, yeah. It's crazy I, that they're on, they brought in three drivers from F2 last mm -hmm. year, and they're only bringing up they one did. driver this year. Um, I can't wait to talk about Williams. That's going to be an interesting topic. Um, but for... Now let's talk about just the drivers. Carlos Sainz, how do you think he's going to do this year? Carlos Sainz, he's going to... I feel like Carlos Sainz is going to do good this year too because I feel like he's going to do better than he did last year. I, I do as he well. He got his first podium last year. I think he's capable of getting another podium. I'm not I think he's capable of one or two this year. Now, let's yeah. go on to the big kid that everyone's talking about. What? Lando. Even talking. Yeah, Lando. Lando. Well, there's not much for signs, let's be honest. There's not much to talk about. He thinks he's going to do this. Nah, it's just, we got to wait and see on him. There's not much to talk about in that department. Lando I think he's going to score points. The youngest driver. And I feel like he is going to be... I feel like he's going to do better this year than he did last year. Oh, definitely. He And he lived really well last year, I think, for his first year in F1. Yeah. I think he... I think he was given a better car than Leclerc was in his rookie year. But they both did phenomenal. I'm going to compare it to Leclerc's rookie year. Um, They both had phenomenal rookie years and... I definitely think we're seeing Norris on the grid for a while. Uh, if he keeps it up. So, I think they're going to be at the top of the midfield. Maybe contend for against top three, but I'm not going to say yet they're going to because I don't want to push it too hard. But speaking of uh, Renault driver of Leclerc, I'm not McLaren, I hope Ricardo. McLe I hope McLaren does not pull a Haas, finish fourth, sorry, fifth, like how Haas and finished drop. fifth and then dropped down to like wherever they, I, it, was yeah. it like ninth or eighth? They finished ninth. 
That's what I thought. I believe. So I, ho I hope McLaren does not drop down again. I <clears> feel <throat> like with the car that they have... I don't think they're going to, to, and their driver lineup, like their excellent teammates. I think that plays a lot into their constructors this year was neither teammate, if one was faster, they had no issue giving up that position to each other. Uh, they work well together. They both have now given input into the car, so I think it's just going to go up. And I think we could see McLaren announce a renewal of their entire lineup's contracts. Yeah. And this is also the first year for their technical director, so I and mm -hmm. their new chief engineer. So I feel like this is going to be um, a good year for McLaren. Yeah, and can't wait to see all the funny road radio lines. It's gonna be great. Yeah. So on to Reno. Um, Reno. Interesting nose. The new nose is nice. I feel like they took. I feel like they did take inspiration from uh, Mercedes. Definitely. And stuff. Definitely. But um, um, I definitely think it's going to help their aerodynamics. Driver lineup is good. Oh, the driver lineup is going to be phenomenal. Let's talk yeah, about Ricardo. Esprit Ocon. Okay. We're we'll talking about the new one here in a bit. He had a f uh, I don't think he had a standout year for his first year in Renault. It wasn't the greatest. Have a standout year. Well, then again, he was not given a great car. Yeah, he wasn't given the best car at the beginning, but near the end, it started to come together. Australia, yeah, you know, he was that, he was that tenderized. Super nice steering assist. Oh yeah, we don't we, we won't talk about Japan too much, but I definitely think Renault will be on the up this year, especially because they have two excellent drivers, and I think Ricardo could possibly score Renault a podium. Which Hulkenberg kept getting close, but he was never able to deliver on it. So I think Ricardo will be the one to deliver on that Renault podium Hulkenberg they want so bad. So now let's go into the new one. That's Ben Ocon. Yep, Ocon. Let's talk about him. Ocon. I think. I think he's gonna do well. Yeah, I feel like he's gonna do well because I feel he did not deserve. Even I don't think he should have for a year. Been, I don't think he should have been a Mercedes reserve driver. I think he should have been on the grid last year. He should have. Whether it would have been in Williams he, he or a low his. team, I think he should have been on. I don't think he. I think he's a better driver than Sergio Perez. Oh, I definitely believe that. I don't think Perez is an excellent driver. I think, but we'll get back to that once we get to the racing point. Um. Uh, yeah, I feel like they uh, Renault they robbed him of a great, great year. Potential. I think Renault will do great this year. Yeah. Um, we're head on down to racing point. I think their pink Mercedes is yep. going to carry them. It's gonna carry them a long way. But it's, it's gonna rely a lot on the drivers, and they have, is, my opinion, the worst driver lineup, personally. They yeah. Of two. Pretty bad drivers. I don't think Sergio Perez Sergio, is too great. He's Sergio not the worst Perez on the grid. Okay. Don't get yeah, me wrong, worst, but he's not. He's not, he's not going to be up there driving like Leclerc, Bottas, Hamilton. He's not going to be up there. Lance, don't get me wrong. Lance Stroll is an okay driver. Like he did good. He got the podium with Williams. That's something you can never forget, right there. Yeah, but I don't think get a he's podium too big, especially because he's not fighting for a seat every year. No. If he was fighting for a seat, I don't think we'd see him on the grid. Yeah. I think he'd lose out to a driver like Hulkenberg. Ho he would. Hashtag rip Hulkenberg. Really hope he returns. Um, yeah. But not too much to say about Racing Point. Pink Mercedes. I think it's the car is going to carry the him. the 2019 Mercedes with the 2020 uh, Racing Point livery on it. It already is. So. Let's uh, head on to the next team, which would be we'll go with Alfa Romeo. Alfa Romeo? Okay. I, good. They have a good driver lineup. I'm not I think they lie. have a decent one, yeah. Uh, same as last year's. Uh, um, the car has obviously got to be good. Yeah, I think the like, car has potential. In testing, Robert Kibitza, which is a two is a test test driver, did set the fastest and reserve. lap. So who knows? We might see Robert if one of the drivers do horrible, which is probably not Raikkonen, but Giovinazzi, you know, dies or something, or see Robert out. Um, <laughs> coronavirus. <laughs> yeah, you never know. Never know. 
He's Italian, isn't he? Um, I think they have a. I don't think there's much to say. Raikkonen's old. He's just kind of here because he likes it, and he's a great driver. And Ferrari, I think, have him there because in case they need a driver, they have one right yeah. there ready. Definitely. And he doesn't care that he's down there. He's happy to be on the grid. So yeah. Um, Giovinazzi, I don't think he had a stick-out year, but he's not a bad driver. He did not have a standout year, but I feel like he is a good driver. Yeah. Um, on to the rebranded team. Alpha Torres. Uh, Alpha Torres? <laughs> Shut up. I don't know how to say their fucking name properly. Alpha Tora? Alpha Tora. Whatever Alpha, Alpha Tori? Whatever. I think it's Alpha Tori. Yeah, I don't know. It's a fucking... I don't like their new name. Um, Who knows? But um, I feel like they have a good driver lineup. You know, Pierre I Gasly think coming in. Yeah, both P3. of the drivers for that team. Well, yeah, I think Kvyat has his issues. I definitely do. Don't get me wrong. But... He's a good driver all around. I Gasly driver's got a podium last season. Mm-hmm. Uh Gasly's a great driver. Just he wasn't good in the Red Bull. I don't think he was used to the Red Bull. No. That was really But I, it's really weird how he was in he did not do good in the Red Bull. Then he went back down to Alfa Romeo Toro Rosa. and then he Yeah, sorry, Toro Rosa, not Alfa Romeo. And then he went and down great. to Toro Rosa. And got a podium. And he did really I good. think it's because he had, was used to that car and he didn't get used to the Red Bull. I don't think you ever yeah. got used to it. So. I think they're definitely going to be in the midfield fight. I think all the teams we've said are going to be right there in the fight, fighting for the top yeah. of the midfield. Or at least, I think P5 and Constructors, I think McLaren's going to be a P4. And then um, I feel like the, their new car has a lot of possibilities. Oh, yes, especially because they're sharing suspension parts and stuff with Red Bull this year. Yeah. They're not getting their hand-me-downs like they have been. Mainly because, you know, that all changes next year. So I think Are they're we... definitely going to have a up and up. Is the next team Haas? No. Who's the next team? Uh, we're going to talk about Williams next just because I feel like there's more to talk about. Well, I feel like we should talk about Haas and then Williams because Haas all right, all right. We're talking about Haas. We're talking about what I think is gonna be the last place this year. <laughs> I I don't think they're gonna do so hot. Watching them in preseason, watching their drivers, I think they have one yeah. okay driver. I think they have a good driver in Magnussen. What is your problem with Roman and Grosjean? It's just he's not the best, and I could honestly see him possibly losing his seat if, if Haas returns. If he's not the if he's not the best. And how did he come in for? How did how does he call Haas? He's not best record? he's not the worst driver, but his arrogance and how he does have oh fuck you, Bottas. Um, it's and arrogance. He has caused a lot of accidents. Yeah, everyone has. But I don't know. I don't see him as a great driver. He's not shit. I think he's better in Stroll. Yeah. But, I don't know. I just don't see Haas doing well this year. And I don't think Grosjean's going to... Because he doesn't do well management there, it seems. Possible last season for Haas. Yeah. Yeah, it could be. I think it might be. Which will bring up, will a new team step in for 2021? Or... Are we going to see um, 18-man Williams. We're going to talk about Williams. Yeah, all right. Williams. I think they are going to shine this year. I think they're going to be possibly back in the I fight. I feel like Williams is going to be battling for 9th and 8th, possibly. I, I, I don't maybe know. Maybe 7th. I maybe. do not know if Nicholas Latifi is going to be able to keep up with George Russell. I don't think he's going to. I don't think he's going to. I think Russell is an amazing driver. I don't think we need to talk Russell's about him too much. a very good driver. He's a great yeah, driver. He speaks for himself. He he's a great driver. I think if we would have put him in like Albon's position, because Albon had a dream position being moved to Red Bull, how he was. Yeah. Out of all the rookies, he got a dream opportunity. But you would have gave Russell that same opportunity. I think he would have went and ran right like Albon did. Yeah. But I don't think Latifi's gonna keep up with him. I don't think he's going to. So, and Latifi's the only rookie on the grid this year, right? Yeah, only rookie on the grid this year. I don't see him keeping up with 
Oh, uh, hold on, I'm ready real quick. Do you oh, want ready? Uh, yeah, I'm gonna use the bathroom real quick. You're coming with the. Um. Uh, <laughs> I'm gonna. I'm gonna mute myself because I'm gonna go to the bathroom and not bring my mic like a normal. Oh, person. well then I'll be right back.
Hello? Hi. Alright, so, uh... Any other bold prediction you have for 2020? Um... I... I feel like Raising Point may be a little overhyped. I definitely think they're gonna let us all down. Alright, uh... Wait, unready? You want to end the um, F1 talk stream here and then start a new stream for us just fucking around racing? Not really, because I feel like we're going to end up talking more about F1 while we drive. Okay. Because that's what we seem to do. Yeah. Do you have any bold predictions for 2021? I think Hamilton's going to pull his dick out on the podium. <laughs> Do you think Hamilton's gonna be super disrespectful and pissed off like at Japan again? <laughs> Definitely. It's Hamilton. Damn it, FIA. Hm. Hamilton's like a kid that doesn't get his toy from McDonald's the moment they hand you the bag. Like, here's your bag, there's a toy in it. The kid, I Why want my you... toy. Wait till we get home. Hm. Why are you being so specific? Did this, did, this, did this happen to you as a child? Yes, I want my fucking toy. <laughs> I hear you're in P1, I'm B2. Don't fucking murder me. Like your name is just that. What? Uh, you think if we see Ricardo get a podium here, drink can I have a shoe again? Oh my fucking Jump start. Yeah. I'm gonna hop behind you fast to trim there. It was, I barely jump started too. I try to stay a bit to the right of people on to the first turn in case they break already. Well, hey, Red Bull's keeping out one two start for now. <laughs> for now, yeah, until I have to serve my drive. What traction control are you playing with? Medium. I moved Man. over to medium with you. I sauced the rear a bit, but you know, nothing big. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I just try and turn as hard as I could to not fucking keep you off track. I thought I got a penalty for being off track for a second. I was about to be pissed. <laughs> that wasn't a corner cut or anything. Damn, you should have caused a safety car before you had to pit. What the fuck? Five, that was not speeding! <laughs> Oh, I guess if you would have caused a safety car, it would have just not helped you, huh? Because you can't serve it under safety car. So, do you think the safety car is going to win an F1 race this year? <laughs> oh, man, of course. They win, they win an F1 race every year. Fucking hell. You fucking great. I got murdered the other night when I was playing with JJ by the safety car. You get murdered every night during a safety car. I uh, got spun in front of the pit lane and it just came out, fucking rammed me in the side, dude. Dude, I hate on some tracks like China, wherever they spit you out, like, kind of right next to the turn, so people are starting to turn in, and you get, like, released, and the AI doesn't know how to go, like, wheel to wheel or anything, so they'll just Still ram in you and take off your front lane. I... Oh, yeah, well... You, you know, you know who I hate? Who? Every human being. Um, yeah. dude, obviously I hate Leclerc, what do you mean? <laughs> mm. I don't know, I feel like Mercedes could uh, be under pressure this year though. Yeah, I feel like this is the first year in a, or the first time in a long time that Mercedes could possibly under, be under pressure. Can't wait, to, I, cause people are all doubting Ferrari. 
that they're gonna be up there. I definitely think they're gonna be up there this year. I think they were bagging it in testing. Oh, what's your opinion on the whole Ferrari scandal thing with the fuel? It's, eh, I mean, I don't know. I don't think it was too big because FIA really didn't say it was. So, wasn't too worried about it, honestly. Okay, Ferrari, fuck boy. <laughs> It's like me asking you what you think about. F well, no, right, what I ask you, but fuck. Oh, Brady. what do you think about yeah. Tom Brady going to the Buccaneers? Oh Ever my god, I fucking hate because they were talking about him maybe going to the Chargers. I was like, ooh, Brady throwing to Allen? That could be good. Damn, all right, because I like them. Brady signs with the Buccaneers. What the fuck? <laughs> I'm kind of upset. Like, come on, you couldn't go to, like, a better team, Brady. Come on, you have to go with... What can I use? No, All right, don't... anyway, back to F1, not yeah, the NFL. That's for a Madden stream later. Yeah. <laughs> Two hours later, welcome totally to NFL too. We probably will at some point. We haven't played Madden in a while. Dude, as a Cowboys fan, fucking pissed. <laughs> Why? I'm not, ain't go to the they're not gonna have a defense. Oh no, they're not. Oh fuck that. And like the fucking few days that the uh, time period of like uh, free agent, not free agency, sorry, and the time period of like people being able to sign and stuff, we have already lost our best corner and one of our best defensive linemen. See, Aiden, I don't have to worry about my team getting worse because I my main team is the Bengals. So, yeah. I can only go uphill. Yeah. Can only well, go up. Unless you don't. Uh, we're, we're still better than Dolphins. Uh, we can only go up. Uh, Shut up. Don't, don't, kill, don't kill my one. Don't kill my one thing. Um, we, we have some of the coolest colors. <laughs> I, feel, I, I like the Dolphins colors the best. Alright, go fuck yourself. <laughs> So I lost control from my rear and it just dropped me down to P3. No, Hamilton, Hamilton, I will kill you. I have a Glock, well, I, I swear to God. Well, you know, right. since... Never mind. <laughs> I was gonna make a terrible joke. <laughs> um... Yeah, you know, I root for way too many teams in the NFL because, you know, my team sucks. You root yeah. for, like, the Bengals, the Chiefs. All right, I've, I've narrowed it down. I've narrowed it down to only a few teams, all right? And this is what I'm saying with Ravens, Chiefs, Chargers, Bengals. And the Cowboys because I'm friends with you. Um, yeah. So they're a side root team, so. Those are the only teams I root for. The Patriots are. I, I think they're going to fucking have a hard time. Um. Remember when I got Brady as my best? Did I send you a picture of me having Brady as my backup quarterback for the Ravens in the yeah. franchise? <laughs> he was my backup. He got played twice. He became my main one because Jackson left me. Or no, he retired. Jackson's still there. Never mind. I'm retarded. How did he retire? How did Jackson retire? What? No, Brady retired. Lamar no oh. did. Um, he did get injured on the first preseason game and is out till like a week till the Super Bowl. So it's like a Jesus. Remember whenever uh, oh it was like oh my god, the you were the Broncos at the end of the season, and my quarterback got hurt, so I had to play with like the sixty-six overall, and you did uh, better. Yeah, <laughs> again, it was against you and like three other of the best teams. You fucking raped me. I built the Chargers too, and then like they, I just didn't enjoy it, so I left, and then I didn't get resigned. <laughs> Dude, you know we still are in that one franchise with me, you, Garrity, and Sage. Dude, I hate Garrity. I'm not gonna lie. I mean, uh, he's just kind of a dick. He can be. He hasn't talked to me in a while, and yeah, he called me his best friend. Like, oh, huh? it's like you talk to me or. I'm pretty mm -hmm. sure that one video he posted on the story was just staged. I was not paying attention.
Hey, you think you can cause a safety car real quick? I mean, I'm coming up on a Ferrari that's been pissing me off. I think I can. And it's not Leclerc. Oh, my oh never mind. Oh, well, you caused it yourself. <laughs> but you're dead. Yeah. I see a Renault off track. Which one is it? Nico. There's in a pit. Dude, I'm not even gonna lie. I think I brought gravel with me. Nice. Like, cause I, I, I kind of like was not paying attention Pause at time. all going into a turns, and so I broke. I ended up breaking like really late. So I lost like part of like all of my left front wing. So I ended up going off track, having hitting some gravel, and then the gravel like did not fully come off my tire. So I was sitting there like trying to brake, and it did not work. So I cut a corner. I got a 10 second time penalty and took out Nico with me. That's it. Tonight's just not my night, I guess. I think it's because I'm distracted since I'm talking. So. <gasps> Yay. Huh. Cowboy signed Anthony Brown. What well, how am I in P1? We're not gonna mind the fact that I almost hit the safety car. Yeah. <laughs> oh look, we have two ugly. Ra I found a 2019 racing point with every ugly person. I got a warning for collision with safety cars. I fucking bumped up my tire. Come here, bitch. Come here, bitch. I'm gonna race ya. I'm racing ya. I'm beating out a Mercedes. Aiden, look. Yeah, fuck Mercedes, motherfucker. Yeah, fuck Mercedes, motherfucker. Fuck Mercedes, motherfucker. Fuck safety cars, bitch. Yeah, those are nice rims. Holy shit. Can we just look at those rims? Like, damn. Damn! Damn. Hey, safety car pushed me off track, what the fuck? Stay out, stay out. At Lewis There's Hamilton. No need to box under this safety car, we have nothing to gain from new tires. Guys, I'm still streaming off the safety car so I can overtake it, watch. Yeet! I feel like they'd beat the fuck out of me if I was a Red Bull driver doing this. Collision with safety car. I'm gonna pass it just because you said not to. See, I'm better. Can I? Oh, I pushed the safety car off the track. Ow, it hurt me. Aiden, safety car hurt me. 
Can you beat it up? Aiden? Yeah, fight it. Fight it. Hit can it, you, hit it can again. You, can you beat up the safety car? Do you, yeah, not, do you not follow me on Instagram? I thought I did. Oh. What's your Instagram? Muckin' Foose? Wow, dude, the safety car took off my front wing. What a bitch. <laughs> Just because I shoved her off track. What a bitch. I'm going to spin it out. Why did... Mm. I'm hmm. getting so mad. I, I have to... I need to stop looking at Instagram. Why? Oh, hey. Um, the Bengals just signed um, a guy, for, uh, one of the offensive linemen from the Cowboys. Uh, one of the uh, backup offensive Ooh, linemen. Ooh, pretty good, He's though. pretty good, too. Ooh, good. good. Well, that's good for you. That one offensive line's gonna win a Super Bowl, guys. Let's go. Yo. You know I swear to God, if we even make it to the fucking playoffs, I'll shit myself. You know what's funny? Hmm. Out of the um, top five most popular NFL jerseys, um, you have Tom Brady, Patrick Mahomes, Ezekiel Elliott, Khalil Mack, and Dak Prescott. Ezekiel Elliott and Dak Prescott both play for the Cowboys. Okay, come All right, whatever you say, Randy Gregory. Good, I'm glad we're re signing our paper. I'm so upset. Another one of the papers. Ooh. <laughs> that'd be that'd be fun. What? Cowboys are expressed are expressing interest in signing defensive end Joe Davian Clowney. Ooh. We, you know, the more you talk about football, the more I wanna go pay man. Virtual safety car, I mean, virtual safety car, reduce right speed right. immediately and keep a positive delta. Oh man, I heard Red Bull is interested in signing Tom Brady. What is your um? It's just my last name. Yeah, you do follow me. Okay, I don't know why you're doing it. It's not fucking up. I'm trying to be honest. Alright, what did I DM you? Oh, I can't DNF myself. Oh, now's the perfect time. I'm going for the next best target. Done, done. Yep. Come wow. Ten out of ten right there. I'm surprised nothing happened. He should have a puncture. I don't care. Giovinazzi uh, said he was eyeing that Ferrari seat of Vettel and Eves. <laughs> like, yeah, I'm sure you are. I'm sure you are. <laughs> I don't feel like Giovinazzi would be signed to Ferrari. Dude, that, that stuff is crazy, but, uh... <laughs> Bears are may have, the Chicago Bears may have a really good season if they uh the Bears are trading for Nick Foles but you know whoa Hamilton just ghosted Nick Foles can only do good and Nick, Nick Foles can only do good in the playoffs he can't do good during the regular season that's when his powers kick in it's like you know. Bottas. He only do that. Man. <laughs> it's 
not like Hoss, but I can only do good in the beginning. I have a puncture. Oh god, I didn't mean for this to happen! <laughs> oh, that was not my fault. Actually, yeah, it was. But that's not the point. Hey, Joe, can you give me like five dollars? No. <laughs> I'm murdering my instrument. Did you just say your poor Your what? safety car is ending. Maintain your pace until the green flag. VSC ending. Wait for green. I have H5B. Complete, go now. Oh, I'm gonna see. Uh, what? I just need the photo you sent me. Okay, you only have oh, yeah. Fuck this son. <laughs> what did you do? <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> oh, Garrity's playing Madden. Garrity's, Garrity's a bitch. Just say it's still playing Resident Evil too. Talking about the lot of football made me want to go five stream Madden. Call Josiah. Fucking call. <laughs> call Josiah. Right fucking now. Call the group chat. Both of us are gonna call in the group chat. Which one? PS4 boys. Alright. PS4 boy, do you mean? Mm. Oh, hey, we haven't talked in like forever, man. Oh, yeah, yeah man. man. Long, long, long time no see. I. <laughs> long see no time. Where are you? I'm outside with baby boy. Who's playing, playing your PlayStation? PlayStation? Your, your uncle? uncle? Uh, no, uh, I brought my PlayStation over to baby boys. And why are you why playing are you like Resident, Resident Evil? Evil? I'm playing Resident Evil. Yeah. yeah. When, when did y'all turn on Resident Evil? Evil? We didn't. We I didn't said, then why are you? I'm not. You drunk motherfucker. It says you are. It says you're playing Resident Evil. What was the last time we played? Oh no, we've been watching Netflix. Alright, whatever you say. You're not appearing up like it's like to me that you're online. What do you mean? Yeah. I'll take a picture of it. You're fucking retarded. <laughs> Why are you so drunk? I didn't even know it was humanly possible for you to be this drunk. I didn't think it was humanly possible either, but uh, apparently it is. Oh, it's gone! <laughs> Okay, hold on. Oh, I just left to call because nope, I didn't want to deal with Josiah. There we go. Answer it. Answer it, Joe. I'm gonna fight you if you don't. Of course not. I'm really, really sad. sad. I can be a dog. Uh... <laughs> I hate my life. Um... What puppy is? <laughs> JJ seeing this. <laughs> I'm glad he is. Look, nobody loves me. Same. And then, and then, and then, and then. I'm so glad my live stream is here. I want it there. <laughs> <laughs> hey, look, who am I? Oh, oh it's your side. <laughs> exactly. I look big for money. I'm a hippie. Ah, da, da. Dude, this looks like what I seen when I did acid. <laughs> I'm playing with Donna, dude. Hey, look, I'm Josiah's crush. Whoa, what the f- <laughs> <laughs> I, I'm now, um, in a white void. The fuck is that? 
CSI. Mm. You still? You mean online? You oh, you fucking retarded. <laughs> you! Look at me, I'm Guy Fieri. Oh, it's Baby Boy. Yeah, I'm not here or anything. I'll fuck myself. How's it going, Baby Boy? Don't say anything racist, I'm streaming. Huh? Say the N word. Don't say the N word. Who else is there with you, BT? What? What the fuck? Why is your room so special blue? Special victims unit. Yeah. It's not. That's just to get off my TV because I never have my light on because I hate my life. Please tell me. Are you not wearing a shirt? No, it's. I have shirts. Oh, uh, just blends in with the same. What the? F Where did BT go? I can take my shirt off if you want. No. Fine. Where are you? Where are you guys going? <laughs> Back to BT's room to clean up our mess. Why? What? I am so uh, confused. Hold on. Who else is there besides you and BT? Just you and BT? What the fuck? Jesus! Uh, we bought a 30 pack. You alcoholics. <laughs> We're not alcoholics, just mere connoisseurs. No, you're fucking retarded. Kill yourself, you like Kelly. Aiden?